Hey, 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 profit takers. Welcome back. Welcome back. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Wherever you are tuning in, whenever you're tuning in, I'm so happy and excited that you're here. And I am also happy and excited to talk about today and um, some of the trades that um, showed new peaks uh, for green days or red days um, for us to trade on tomorrow. And the funny thing is last week, Thursday, we also had a ton of new peaks. We had like 14 new peaks last week. So, but today I'm going to talk about this Nas trade y'all, because I think y'all are sleeping on this here indicator. Okay. You are sleeping on it because I'll be talking about this thing here and I'm just like, come on y'all, you better watch this video. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. So. We are going to, let me get to the NAS chart real quick. NAS and um, S&P look pretty similar. They did. Um, but because we're talking about NAS first, I had posted in the, um, the Telegram. Let me open that real quick. And in Locals. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slide this Locals in here real quick. Y'all sleeping on this here thing right there. Okay, here we go. So, um, in locals about 12 hours ago, which was early this morning, I was looking at this trade and this is Nas. Okay, and I was like, okay, we had a peak high, peak low yesterday. And guys, you know, this end of day, I've marked the end of day cons uh, consolidation. I can see that the ADR has been exceeded. I don't have the picture of that here, but nonetheless, you can see the ADR here has exceeded almost twice. Oh, it looks like it almost, you know, went over it like twice. But nonetheless, I'm like, okay, guys, when we see this peak high and low like that, um, especially when the peak low indicator shows up, I believe this was on M15 where it showed up there. To me, that is an indication that tomorrow, which was today, right? You know, early this morning, I was looking at this. It's like, this looks like we're going to go long. So this box right here is the London box. And I was, like I said, it was pretty early because this was London when I posted this. It was like in the middle of London, almost to New York. So basically, you know, I posted this. I'm like, hey guys, this thing is looking good for long and the indicator has exceeded. So I'm going to be watching this. But I had, um, I had a appointment to go to, so I wasn't even able to trade this one because I had to be, I was on the road at nine and this thing was pushing up at nine and I like to be in front of my charts when I'm trading. <laughs> okay. So guys, that was a beautiful trade and now let, let's look at it live. Um, that previous picture you saw was uh, clearly still dropping like the exceeded ADR. And now we can see that we actually confirmed, and this is M15, we have confirmed the peak low and this was day one, right? Now we're in day two and this was the parabolic trade trend, right? So anytime we, uh, we, we marked the price, we had marked the, I had marked the end of day. Um, and this one, I don't even get to do the little, I mean, I usually like to, I, I like it when they squeeze it <laughs> and it makes it a little bit, a little bit more. Right. But nonetheless, guys, New York, New York got, you know, a beautiful trade set up today and it was a legitimate, um, you know, signal based on what we saw. OK, um, so that's it. <laughs> so now that that's happened, so this is technically technically day one and this is day two. Um, tomorrow is day three. So what are we expecting it could be a continuation. It could be a, uh, a slight reversal, right? Either one of those two things can happen or it could range. But typically Fridays, we get lucky. We don't get the ranges, but we do know that the markets only do three things. So those are here right now is the end of day consolidation. Uh Oh, I'm looking at, sorry guys, I'm looking at, um, um, S and P hold on. Let me go to the NAS because they look similar. Watch, they look just the same. Okay. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> That's why when I was talking about it, it didn't even look, 
it did not look to me at all like there was something different here because they look just the same. So this is totally in you. So my bad. I wasn't even looking at S&P. I was just looking at Nas because I was like, okay, this one's all the way down here. Okay. All right. So here is the high and low. And we would ideally want price. And here's yesterday's high. We want price to push through that. You know, that is the that is the game right there for tomorrow. Okay, we do. We want a continuation uh, price. However, um, we do have a peak low, peak, peak high in the session. And what else happened? Um, let's see. Price did close above. Okay, price did close above. So this technically is still indicating an, an opportunity for the continuation to go long tomorrow. Um, but what are we going to do? We're going to wait for price to prove it, right? Let us know that they're actually going to stop hunt low this area and then give us an opportunity to go long, okay? Um, if for whatever the reason price comes up to yesterday's high and it starts to break down, then you know we're we're not going long. It's it's just that simple. Um, that don't make it too hard and 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 just let it be, right? Let's just let it be, okay? So that's the plan. Okay, I hope you're ready. <laughs> that is the plan. Now, we're looking now, I'm going to go to oil. Where are you, oil? This is gold. I don't know what's going on with gold. It's just dropping for days. It's almost giving me the indication we want to go long, but I still need some more proof here because if that's the case, then, you know, this was today. This was the high that we're looking to take out. But let me go on to what I was wanting to, to, to show you all because this is another one that I was talking about Um this is oil. Let me find it in the group because I did talk about this and I even posted it in the channel. I mean, on the comment section in on YouTube talking about it. I just need to find it so we can show you what it looked like. Okay, here we go. So again, this is oil guys. Um, yesterday, um, before I went to sleep, I went ahead and did my thing. I was like, okay, you know, markets can finish in two days and three days, right? So technically, you know, one, two, and three, it gave us the, the, the three day reversal today. Okay. So we had one push, two and three push. And I was looking at this last night. I'm like, okay, we have uh, three pushes up. You know, this is a, this is one of those best trade setups. Um, and this was before all, you know, I was like, and when I came in this morning, I was like, this hadn't like where you see this peak and everything. Um, that <laughs> I drew that like after the fact, like I had my, my end of day consolidation and I was just like, okay, guys, um, this is what I'm thinking. We're going to get a reversal. And we did. Right. So when I got to the charts this morning, I saw it had already played out and I just drew my lines there because I needed to uh, make sure that, you know, this was like the top part of the um, pretty a little bit above it because it was at yesterday's high. And let me just go to the chart. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, what can I say? OK, so here we go, guys. So um, the peak indicator showed up. I went ahead and drew yesterday's high. And the reason why I drew yesterday's high, right? I was just making sure I identified that section was because whenever you are looking to trade the, the three day setup, the drop guys, yesterday's high is your point of reference for entry. Okay. All day long. But I was asleep when all that happened, right? But I made sure to draw that there because I'm like, you know what? This is going to be a stop on high drop. Here's yesterday's high. We have three levels of push. Now it's time to reverse on Thursday. And then today, confirmation, it kept dropping and dropping and dropping all day. We had another opportunity for low hanging fruit for um, the New York session. And now it has confirmed. Okay. Prices close below the high, below. And anytime prices closes below, guys, it means we're going short. It means we're going short. That's it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So we have a peak high 
confirmation. We're ready to take this thing short tomorrow. Okay. But as you notice, oh my goodness, it's almost already down to the end of the range here. Okay. And you can see three ADRs all the way down here. Okay. So we get an opportunity tomorrow to go short on this pair based on what I'm seeing now. I mean, tomorrow might be the last day if you ask me. Okay. But nonetheless, guys, counting your levels, counting this one, two, and three, and knowing this is going to be your reversal day, it's absolutely not phenomenal. And for what I'm also noticing too, is last week, Thursday, we had uh, new peaks in the building. And of course, today is Thursday. We have new peaks going into Friday. So guess what tomorrow is? It's time to get paid, taking profits. Tomorrow, we're going to be taking profits all day. Now, I wanted to show you GCAB because that was one that also gave a confirmation today with a... Um, a green signal first day uh, of low of the week signal. And this is, you know, this is something here that um, when you get to the charts tomorrow or whenever you trade, you're looking to go long. So I'm going to just draw this out here real quick. You know, the same thing that I do all the time. And I'm looking for a stop hunt high. I know this is not pretty guys. Sorry. It's not pretty. Sometimes this thing is a little janky, but it's okay. Okay, it's okay. You guys know. You guys know. All right. All right, so stop, hunt, low, rise. That's it. That's what I'm looking for tomorrow. I'm definitely looking forward to break through this uh, range here. And remember, guys, I, what other thing that I like to do? I know my charts, I, I was messing with my empty for today. I was trying to get some stuff to work, but, um, this is where we at right now. Okay. With the open range. Cause I want to make sure we capture the open range all the way from the open, uh, the Monday high and low. That's the game. Okay. So now prices are back in here and we're looking for it to push up through Asia's low and looking at possibility to take it at the ADR high because that's typically where it goes. Okay. Um, so that was GCAB. That's the signal for tomorrow. Now what's another signal for tomorrow? This is the, hold on, let me click it. EuroCAD. I'm writing these down. So we had oil, GCAB, ECAB. What else? All right. Look guys. Look at that. So this was a, a week, one day, previous week, you know, had to hit some low somewhere. Now my, this chart right here, now if I'm getting ready to trade this stuff, I'm marking it up, all right? I'm going to H4 and I'm just gonna mark it up, okay? Cause since I had messed with my MT4, I had to do some stuff to it. I had to, uh, all my stuff that I marked up on here, I had disappeared cause I was, ugh, don't ask. It's trying to do some stuff, I'm trying to get ready for this launch, right? I'm trying to get ready to, to share this information. Oh, look at that. So we'll use, this was the previous week's high. So this is a really good place there. Oh, I'm trying to grab this previous week's low was right here. Okay. That's eight. We're on H4. So let me come back here to M15. Let's see what we have. So you definitely want to mark those levels. Okay. All right. So this, if you're trading Asia, this could definitely be a target right there. What we want is for us to use this level that um, was once a low and offering support uh, or resistance or whatever it was. Let me see before I start making stuff up. So that was the low. Yep it was offering support. So, um, or, um, so now it was offering resistance here at the beginning. And now we wanted to offer support once more. So I was going in the right, right. I was going in the right direction. And that looks like a H and S a head and shoulders pattern right there on the higher time frame. So 
great confirmation. Okay. So again, you can also use this area based on where, um, if this area comes in and we get some support here to add positions and then take it up to again, the ADR high or the low of Asia. That always the psychological level is always something that, um, I use also for targets. Okay. And that's it. We're just, we're going to take our profits. Okay. So, all right. So let's go to another one for tomorrow. We got EJ. EJ is in the building, finally decided to show up. Okay. Um, same thing. <laughs> Signal day today. Tomorrow we're looking for some kind of parabolic setup whereby we're going long. Um, and then of course, breaking through the high. So do, 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 do. And right here with the low prices might come back in here, guys, and then push out because here's yesterday's high that we definitely want to take out. And my first target will be right here, the psychological level. Uh, this is one, five, eight dot one, five, three. That's where I would go first. And then if we get some, uh, cause it's Friday, so who knows what's going to happen, but we should have a pretty good trade anyway. Totally not with these signals guys. Come on. We should have a good trade tomorrow. So those are the, it really, those are the ones that are ready to go for tomorrow. Let me look at this. What is this? I just wanted you guys to have, if you didn't know what you're trading tomorrow, I got you something to trade tomorrow. Okay. I think that's enough pairs. Oil, G, cab, E, cab, E, J. I think that's enough pairs, right? I really like GA guys. Let's see. One, two, three. I mean, based on this one, guys, it should give us a continuation for tomorrow because prices continue to close uh, below. So it should come up here and give us a nice stop hunt high. Um, I guess we can call that the swing high level. And then the swing low for this one. I do like this pair, guys. Um, let me know what pair you like. What pair do you like to trade? And let's do it, right? Before the session today, I did take GU long and EU long. Those are great trades. So they should be day two or actually I'll show you just a minute. They should be just like this. If this is going to let me pull it. There we go. So this area I'm looking for stop hunt high. Okay. Stop hunt high drop within this area. Definitely taking it down to 280R. GA can do that for us. Let's look at GU because this is the one I took long today before I had to leave. Okay. Okay. So I actually, I was in this trade early. <laughs> I was actually in this trade for London. Beautiful trade for London. And I'm so happy I, I kept my position on it for it because it played out just perfectly. Um, since I wasn't here for New York, I got, I did wake up a bit earlier to try to jump in these charts and see, you know, what's happening for London. Um, EU was another one that I took. Let me get to that one. Yep. Right here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It was so funny because when I uh, was getting ready to leave, I saw it do this, you know, this uh, pullback. And I was like, should I go ahead and close this thing? And you know what I did? I added a position. <laughs> I did. I added it, went to um, the previous day high. That was my target. And it, it hit it. So I'm very glad and very happy about that. Okay. So guys, that's all I have for right now. I mean, I'm just really excited for tomorrow. I don't know about you, but I am so excited for tomorrow. We have, you know, at least 
I've already shared with you all, you know, these signals, these green day signals and red day signals for tomorrow that are just fresh off the charts, like right off of the indicator, guys. So enjoy. Okay. All right, y'all. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.